Ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. How did I get here? How did I get here? My dad first came to the US in 1932. It took his steamship 30 days to cross the Pacific. He saw a toilet for the first time and thought it was a drinking fountain. Whoops. And my mom, a 19-year-old woman, forced to marry an older man and moved to the United States to send money back to her family in the Philippines. I forget about myself at times, thinking about them, thinking about my mom's shadowy story eclipsed by my father's grandeur. I think about them a lot. I visited the Philippines last year for the first time as an adult right before the pandemic. It felt like going home. A homecoming. I traveled to my family's island, the mouth-watering smells of lechon spinning over the fire outside my Lola's house, the sharp, piercing sound of our native tongue. It felt like home, but a home I didn't know, a lost language, a yearning to connect to a culture that feels half home, half foreign, how did I get here? Perhaps I'm torn. I forget about myself sometimes. Caught impossibly in the between. Searching for a place. And perhaps I'm holding too tightly. How do I let go?
<laughs> the Philippines looking for white. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I think some of her said, do you want to get married to? <laughs> so her, I said, no. And I said, the first time, I said, no. <laughs> no. And then my mom, they're talking to my mom. They said, oh, do you want to get married to me? And I said, my mom said, okay. <laughs> my mom said, okay. I said, okay. When we get married. <laughs> so that you just, because your parents say, you follow what your parents say? Yes, I follow my parents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what was it like for you to be all of a sudden in this marriage? Um, well, so did you come to the U.S. right away or did you stay in the For, um, uh, get married in January and then I came in June. Did you speak English? Not really. I don't speak English before. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to speak English. Jet stayed there for six months? No. Oh. Just came. You came Wait, back and waited for you to come? I always had this fantasy that you guys came back together on a small plane or something. But... <laughs> 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 okay. well, that's a huge change because you're not only, you not only get married, but then you also move to a new country. So how was, how was it when you came to, did you come to Santa Maria? Yeah, with my friend. I'm not scared of something to come because we were both so good person. So you already had, in a sense, a built-in community when you came because you had your friend and then and her husband. Yeah. And your husband was also very social. Oh yeah, yes. Always go to the party. Yeah. Did you ever feel lonely or homesick? Um. Oh, not really. Oh no. When I came, the next day I go. I went to the field. <laughs> help her, help her, oh. him. Yeah, picking strawberries, learn how to pick. Yeah. And <laughs> what did you think? Hard. <laughs> it's very easy. Oh, this is you. Yes, I took you. Yes, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> I just call to talk, talk, talk. Um, have you guys have to careful over there because I just watching the news that it's very bad in LA. You have to careful. Call me if you have time. Okay, bye. Um, lie. Oh, I just call you because I just want to talk to you about lockdown. What you know? Because I called to Steve, and Steve got cleaned up because they closed the hotel. Um, just go. Um, I have supposed to. I have to ask you about. Are you among of the uh, lockdown stay home, or we are even over here? Maybe I have to listen the news first. Uh, or. Yeah, pull the light. Okay, bye-bye. Ah, hello, Larry. Oh, uh, where are you? You know, are you by the protesting or something just keep away there to your safety talk to you later goodbye i don't when you call i didn't answer because i took to blini i need money to send in the philippines oh i just call you because uh uh, but grandma, I'm gonna call you later after that.
I'm making something. I'm making minangka. My <laughs> I just only me. And uh, something. I make some some food. Okay, you can call me again. Okay, bye. Hello, like I call you because uh, uh, did you have appointment already for vaccine? You can do in CBEs. Okay, I just I tell you that you can do in CBEs if you want vaccine. Okay, bye. Thank you.